Alright people, it's Brad the Lab back again with another video and this is the Phil Neville Show, hopefully having a great day. So today, again, I had another decider, Reading against Cardiff, again, it was another bloody draw in the FA Cup. So we're going to have to use the special blue bag. Now, Cardiff have let me down twice. Now, I was going to think, you know, you know, should I, should I just pick Reading as a punishment? But I thought, no. You know, you know that would just sound a bit, you know, bitter, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to go into the blue bag because it makes it more exciting as well. So I'm going to go in, and I've got a team out, and that team is Ipswich Town. So that is the team Phil is going to train for today. So we've got Ipswich Town of the Championship. So stay tuned for that later. Ipswich fans, see if Phil could single-handedly get you out of League One. So, let's get into the show for today, then. Um, so, Bruno Fernandes apparently is close to joining Manchester United. Some uh, YouTube um, channels I follow, the United Stand, um, also the Football Terrace, they think, you know, that it's already done. Well, the Football Terrace does, uh, anyway. Um, but... Uh, I hope we need him. We desperately need him uh, to come into our midfield because we need a quality player in our mid midfield, especially without Pogba, especially without Rashford, especially without McTominay. And this week, of course, we play Wolves. And um, unfortunately, it's going to be quite painful for all United fans, but um, they're going to be walking out of the stadium in the 58th minute in protest against the Glazers and Ed Woodward, and apparently Ed Woodward has been uh, um, terrorised at his home, is what I've heard, um, which is wrong, but I have to say that, um, you know, that um, Manchester United fans are clearly angry, and obviously if they get this deal done, you know, I don't know if things are going to change, you know, obviously we'll be pleased that we've signed him finally, but we won't be pleased, of course, because they are still at the club and they are ruining the club. Look at you know, look at how many managers they've ruined um, and players possibly. You know, look at um, look at Louis Van Gaal. Okay, he played boring football, you know, but he was supposed to be a good manager who stepped in and helped us. David Moses even backed either, but he didn't do out well. Jose Mourinho. He was expected to challenge for the league. Never never challenged for the league because he didn't get backed. Of course, you, you could say, oh yeah, but he signed Zlatan, he signed Popper, he signed Lukaku. You know, you know, and still, there's been no there's been no improvement at all. And then they just said, you know, then Jose Mourinho dealed it in the, with him the wrong way and that got him the sack. So, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer accepts everything, of course. We, we signed wan Saka, we signed Maguire. Okay, you can say, yeah, we've got some good players, you know. You know, and, and we want a cooler ballet. We don't attract players anymore, you know. And I think you know we, and I think you know we're in big, big danger at the moment. And I think you know even if we do sign Bruno Fernandez, obviously it'll be a great deal for us. But will it really change things? I don't think so. Uh, maybe it might get a little bit better, but it it still won't change things. You know, because we rely on players too much. We rely on Rashford too much. He's got a stress fracture. And, you know, he's out for quite a while. Um, Martial isn't doing much. I like Martial. He, he's brilliant, but he isn't doing much. Popper, we don't know whether he's staying or going. He's injured. Um, he'll probably be out for the rest of the season, you know. And, and the next part of the news is... Um, the Saudi Arabians, who we want us to take over us, they are in advanced talks with Newcastle. And that puts us in even more danger. I was so worried when I heard that notification that that might be happening. That is such bad news for Man United. I mean, no disrespect to any Newcastle fans out there. I like Newcastle. But if they prefer to go to Newcastle than Man United, then there's definitely a problem. There has to be. I mean, Newcastle haven't won a trophy since the 1950s. And, you know, they are a big club. They've played in the Champions League before. And uh, 
you know they deserve to be in the Premier League you know not like eight years ago they were close to be to being in the top four so look um, obviously my cash has been wanting to sell for a while you know Newcastle fans do deserve some happiness but this is just bad news for Man United if this happens you know but the good thing is is that you know the positive thing that we can take from is you know is you know um, that clubs you know that Newcastle have had this sort of situation of a takeover over and over and over again you know and it never actually happens so you know if that's the case and you know United fans managed to get this protest successfully done then yeah, happy days. But I don't know if this is this is going to happen or not. But it will be such bad news. It'll be such a big, big blow if this happened to Man United. Right. So next is Aston Villa are in the Carabao Cup final. Congratulations to Aston Villa beating Leicester City in in the second leg of the Carabao Cup semi final. They're they're going to be playing Man City. Let's be honest. United are playing tonight again. City. I haven't done a preview for it because I don't see any point because City will win anyway. I'm, I'm not trying to be negative, but City 3-1 up anyway. You know, and if we come back, it would be like a miracle, like the PSG come back. Um, but City will definitely score a goal. And even if we score, what, three goals, I think they'll win on away goals because they won in the first leg. Yeah. Um, that sort of stuff, but congratulations to Villa anyway for getting themselves into the into the final. Um, it'll be a great day. Unless United do get to the final, I'll be back in Villa. Um, you know, it'll be nice to see a shocking in a cup final. You know, these days, um, I think the last time that happened was about. Let me think. I think that was like two thousand and eleven when Birmingham beat Arsenal. So yeah. Um, that congratulations Villa and good luck in the final when you know when it obviously when it happens. Uh, commiserations to Leicester. Pablo Marie to join Arsenal. He's from Flamengo. He's a defender. Arsenal do need defenders at the moment. Um, I don't know a lot about him. Uh, I only heard about this today. I've only probably heard of him today, but yeah, um, he's going to join on loan from Flamengo. The next news is Wayne Rooney could possibly face Man United. Um, in a derby shirt in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Oh, I went a bit posh there, derby. Um, <clears throat> so that's a great deal there for, for Wayne Rooney. You know, if he could play United at the club he played for, for so many years and had so much success winning league titles, won a Champions League, um, won an FA Cup as well. He, you know, he's such a great legend. And, you know, depending on how derby do in the replay against Northampton, you know, because, you know, if we could go to Northampton, that'd be good. You know, I was happy with the Northampton or Derby tie. But, yeah, um, that would be a good tie for Manchester United and a good tie for Wayne Rooney to, to be reunited. And, obviously, Rooney play with Solskjaer as well, if he if he's still at the club by then, which I'm presuming he will be. So, that's a great deal. And Man United could also be signing South End goalkeeper Nathan Bishop. Um, I never heard of him. Uh, I don't really focus on League, League 1 or League 2. I'm not. Too, I think they're in the. Yeah, they're in League One. So yeah, I don't really focus on those sort of leagues. But um, you know, I think he'll join like the academy, and then we'll see how things progress from there. And the final news is, um, just wanted to share it with you. If there's any Cambridge fans out there, Cambridge, I've sacked their manager Colin Calderwood. I never knew who it was in the first place, but I just thought I'd let you know about that. I'm sure you already do. Um, and yeah, so. Obviously, they're not doing too well. They've won one game in 10, is what I read on the BBC Sport report. So, yeah, that's a shame about that. So, I'm going to be back in part two with my Premier League predictions in a bit. <laughs> 